Whether your vision is personal or professional, let U-Vision Productions be your choice for all your video and photographic needs. All they told us was that, that uh, her liver numbers were not good. I was in uh, denial about it. It's like, no, no, there's got to be some mistake. Now as the family waits in San Antonio fearful and hopeful that they'll find a liver, here at this intersection in Houston, a horrific tragedy and two families' lives would change forever. Juan Nuno of Houston lost his wife, son, and daughter in a crash caused by two teens street racing. We spoke with Omar about his choice to donate his daughter's organs. I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that what I did to help someone else. Well, it's hard to imagine a young child struggling to stay alive and needing an organ transplant. For more than 25 years, Transplants for Children has helped more than a thousand young patients and hundreds of families. Jaden Olmsted is a liver transplant recipient. With him is his mother, Crystal, plus Stacy Almaguer. She is executive director for transplants for children. Good morning to both of Good you. Morning. And it seems like it's night night for uh, yeah. Jaden, huh? He is exhausted. We got him up really early. Oh, <laughs> wow. And he was running around, and so we just love the fact. It's so sweet. I'm sorry. I'm okay. Uh, <laughs> I won't okay. talk so loud. Okay, Crystal, thank you so much for being here. Yeah. And also, you, uh, Stacy, I know you've been thank here before you. with Transplants okay. for Children. I got to start off with you, Crystal, about your story. When did you realize that Jaden needed a transplant? Um, well, we didn't know for a, a while because mm -hmm. his, you know, livers are so resilient. We thought his liver would fix itself. Um, it was probably he was about six months of age when they finally told us that, you know, he would eventually need a liver transplant. Mm -hmm. But we weren't sure how soon or. How old is Jaden now? He's two. Two. Two and a half. So when you found out when he was six months old. I mean, you must. Uh, there must have been so many thoughts in your head. It was devastating. It was hard. It was mm -hmm. shocking. I mean, so many things. And, and did they say why exactly he needed a transplant? Um, well, he um, he wasn't born with a liver defect. He mm -hmm. had a heart defect. Um, the liver defect came from a complication from heart surgery. He mm -hmm. um, was in cardiac arrest for an hour, so the lack of oxygen um, made him made his liver go bad. Um, we had what's called shock liver, so we thought, you know, he'll get better, he'll get better, and he just kept getting worse. So they ended up diagnosing him with end-stage liver disease, mm -hmm. um, biliary cirrhosis slash biliary atresia, um, and they told us that, you know, he would need a liver. So they put you on a list immediately, I'm sure. No. No. Um, no okay. It actually takes time. There's a process. There's um, social workers you have to talk to. There's blood work. There's mm -hmm. tests. There's so many things. Um, I mean, there's looking at his overall health. If he's too unhealthy to even go through the surgery, they, w they won't put him on the list. So there's, there's many things. As a mother, I'm sure that uh, your heart's racing. You're wondering, what can I do? What can I do? You almost feel helpless. Yes, mm -hmm. definitely. It's hard, very hard. Yes, and Stacy, you're a mom as well. You know exactly the feeling. I know exactly yes. what she's talking about. Um, I had not met Crystal um, until recently and I realized that her story was very similar to mine. I have a 19 year old daughter who is the recipient of a kidney transplant and I think that all transplant parents feel very similar in the respect of feeling very helpless because the gift of life it's not a surgery, it's someone giving mm -hmm. of themselves, whether in life or after life, to ensure that someone else lives. And yes. Jaden is a living example of that type of gift. Yes. He's so beautiful. Right. <laughs> He really is, and what a beautiful story it is because uh, you want to give that gift of life. You do. Whether it's a transplant or, or not. But So tell us, how can we help? Absolutely. What the community can do, and this is something that we've really been promoting lately, is to understand that there's a way to give of yourself in a, a situation like Jaden who needed a liver. You can be a donor in the wings through the University Transplant Center. Mm -hmm. Something that's incredibly important to know is that over 5,000 people are waiting on the liver donor list, 2,000 of which who will not live. Transplants for Children supports the children, of course, um, just like Jaden. And what we want people to know is that you can actually be a living liver donor through the Donor in the Wings program through University Transplant Center. That's great. So. That's great. We always hear about the 
adults who need transplants, but the kids, they need them too. Absolutely. Yes. Fat, okay. Thousand kids need transplants. Okay. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank, thank you so much. Best of luck, and thank, thank you so you. much, Jaden. He's one right today. <laughs> Stay with us, everybody. We'll be right back. almost on this today. It's half off. $50 buys you $100 worth in educational software for your child. So just when they put the books away for the summertime, ah, we uh -huh. got them going. We Pop up teacher. <laughs> We're still learning. So thanks for being here. Thanks for watching us tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we'll be here again.